Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for March 4th to the 16th. First of all, I want to talk about the systems that will be affecting certain areas of the nation. We'll start here first in the east. Uh, here's our first system that will be affecting the region tonight and into tomorrow. This is the, uh, the NAM. And you notice where the 540 line is here across central Jersey, southern Pennsylvania, into the Midwest. So this is, we'll go to 7 p.m. tonight. Here's the low now, starting to spread precipitation into the mid-Atlantic and the southeast. Then we go to 1 a.m. Saturday. Now precipitation moves in to the northern mid-Atlantic region. The low is offshore, and it's not particularly strong, about 10 11 millibars, but uh, here's the 540 line now to the north of New Jersey across southern New England into Pennsylvania. So it'll probably be rain or a mix. And then we go into 7 a.m. Sunday. Now the uh, 540 line drops further south across southern Jersey, central Jersey. The low deepens somewhat, still relatively. Uh, not a very particular strong storm, but all this would be rain to the north here would be snow. And here comes our next system that will be affecting the region. So we'll go into, I'll just jump ahead a little bit. Okay, here's our next system. 1 a.m. Sunday. Now we're going into 7 a.m. Sundays. The low starts to organize. Not particularly strong yet, about 10.13. And then we go to 1 a.m. Sunday. Now it's, it drops down to 10, uh, 10, 0, 8 millibars. And here's the 540 line across uh, just to the south of Long Island and central Jersey. Starts spreading precipitation in to the mid-Atlantic region. And then we go to 7 p.m. Sunday. Now it is... Now it, it should be, well, according to this, it would be a mixture or rain because the 540 line still remains the same, but the precipitation is to the north. And here is the heaviest precipitation across this region. And then we go to 1 a.m. Sunday, and it remains the same. The low is offshore. Now it really starts to intensify down to 995 millibars. And then we go to 7 a.m. Sunday. Now the low, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Must be hitting something. Now the low is up here by New England and it um, ends across the Mid-Atlantic. But we have snow here across New England. Now we're going to look at the other models. First we'll talk about, and I'm having again trouble with the, with the models. All right, um, we're going to start with our first system. We're going to try to look at it. They were just working before. Let me see if I can get this to go. Okay, this is the All right, I'm having issues here. Okay, now I want to talk about All right, this okay, I'm starting to get back now. Here is the the nav gen but our first system here now it starts showing uh precipitation here the low still generally the same as nam and then we go further the 7 a.m saturday now it looks like it's snowing across northern new jersey and parts of southern new england this is a little colder solution and then for our next system All right, we're going here's 1 1 p.m. Sunday and precipitation night in the Mid-Atlantic. It's a little slow. 
the low is still down here and the heavy precipitation remains to the south and then we go to 7 p.m it's about a little bit slower to the nav gem according to this one to the nam here's the nav gem so it starts bringing precipitation into the mid-atlantic region and the for the 540 line is across northern new jersey and then we go to 1 a.m monday it's generally the same i think it's a little bit too close to the coast so let's see if i can all right now here's one thing now here's the uh ensembles with the clusters of the storm they're kind of clustering on this offshore solution so we'll see how it goes this is um saturday 1 p.m that's what our first system all right so we'll look at the next system we'll go to maybe 7 a.m sunday it's down here we're going to try to stick to the currencies because this is more important that so here's the next is starting to develop here it's kind of like all over this the ensemble means where it has the center of a low So then we'll go to 7 p.m. Sunday. The low is kind of like all over, but main, mainly inland, but we're not concerned about it until it gets offshore. 1 a.m. Sunday. Okay, now it starts to move offshore. We have the low different areas inland. Most of them are inland. Some are right around the coast. All right, we'll go to 7 a.m. Monday. And the lows are still like offshore, the clustering offshore. Still a little bit close. I think it's inside the 40 degrees north, 7 degrees west. Some of them are still like here across inland areas. So we'll take a look at the other models. Let's see. Uh, we'll go to 1 p.m. Sunday. This is European ensembles. 540 line across southern Jersey. And we'll jump ahead to 1 a.m. Monday. And it has it right along the coast. So it looks to be a warm event. 997 millibar. And this will probably be all rain as this will be snow across to the north. 7 a.m. Sunday. Okay, it might turn back to snow across parts of the Mid-Atlantic as the low deepens to, I can't quite, 9, it looks like 983 millibar. Okay, let's see. We'll look at we'll look at another system, another model. Okay, this is the European deterministics. Again, showing it warm inland system. And we'll try to get the um I don't know if we have the GFS. Let's see. Okay, this is GFS. This has always been the cold solution. Here's the low down here. This is all snow. Okay, we'll go to 7 p.m. When the other system, see, this is the cold system. The GFS has a low down here, but this is all snow. Here's the 540 line across southern Jersey, more to the south. This is all snow, heavy rain down here. And we'll go to 1 a.m. Monday still snowing across the mid-atlantic and now it's offshore this is all snow all this blue down here this is heavy rain and this is the only system that's showing this and we'll go to 7 a.m monday still snowing star storm starts to pull away not as deep though 1001 millibar low so this is a cold solution with the with the uh gfs okay now we're going to get to the pattern all right, this is for the period March 4th to the 8th. And you can see this is what we're forecasting. We still have our ridge here across Alaska and the Arctic. We have um, an amphibian trough in the east and a ridge over Mexico with above normal heights in the southwest. So uh, the model's a good agreement. I already talked about the systems affecting. Now we're going to go to March 7th to the 11th. And we have 
uh, nearly zonal flow across the nation with below normal heights across the northern states, below or above normal heights across the southern states. Here's our near zonal flow. A little bit of a split flow here in the northwest. Models of good agreement. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting below normal temperatures for much of this region here. And I'm forecasting uh, forecast anomalies of 6 to 18 degrees or more. You can see above normal and then above normal temperatures here with the anomalies of 4 to 6 degrees above normal for <clears throat> excuse me for precipitation calling for above normal precipitation here and for this region and the probability of occurrence is 45 percent and we have below normal precipitation here and for the southern plains probability of occurrence is 35 percent now look at the period for um, March 12th to the 16th um, now I think this might be our turnaround this is GFS again keeping the pattern pretty much intact but you see what happens we start getting rising heights in the east and most of the models are forecasting this below normal heights here above normal heights here I think this might be our turnaround if you want to call it turnaround it's been um, having this pattern much in the winter but still nearly zonal flow. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting below normal temperatures here. And I'm forecasting anomalies of 2 to 4 degrees being conservative below normal. And then we have above normal temperatures here. Again, being conservative, being 2 to 4 degrees above normal. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here and from the Mississippi Valley to the Atlantic coast. I think this might be a little bit overdone here across the Great Lakes region and so forth, but we'll see how that goes. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 55%. And then I have below normal precipitation for the Southwest. Probability of occurrence is 35%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for March 4th to 16th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.